to Elizabeth um, for organising and asking um, asking me to play. Um, it feels so nice to be part of a group, um, especially in lockdown, and have something to work towards and uh, help musicians. It's a great fund. Um, so when I took on this piece, um, I hadn't played for a while, <laughs> classical flute anyway, and I, um, I started by putting in accidentals actually because um, when I played it a few times I realised I had left out one of the flats. <laughs> so I definitely suggest by putting in the accidentals, very um, essential, um, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of flats. Um, and then I kind of spent time on um, getting to know it. I actually tried to, instead of using the music, I memorized it as I went along um, because I sometimes find, like, find that I can get it under my fingers better um, if I memorize it. So I decided to memorize it bar by bar rather than playing the whole through thing through loads of times. So I just did sections, memorized sections and then went on. I did something that um, I heard as well. I, I did the start memorized then I went to the end and then met in the middle I felt, felt that that was a nice way to do it because sometimes you leave the end and then you haven't practiced it enough um compared to the rest of the piece so I did that and then what else did I do um I, I tried my best to try and not have forced high notes and low notes so I tried to keep relaxed when I was playing the high notes and the low notes so that it didn't sound like I was squeezing at the top or bottom um Michael Cox was one of my teachers once a, a while ago I'm getting old <laughs> and he taught me um to try and be as relaxed as possible especially on the low notes otherwise if you force it 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 doesn't come out as strong so I tried to do that um and the other thing was um so I made um two little mistakes towards the end and I was thinking oh I need to get it perfect shall I do it again and I was like actually I think it's something that I think that students and anyone should um to, should not worry too much about the um, it being perfect because if you know I guess for a recording maybe if it's you know for a CD you want it to be as perfect as possible but for me um, sometimes when you're doing something in a concert it takes away from the live performance if it's if you're too worried about it being perfect so I'd rather like somebody make a little mistake here and there but really put all into it than to have it perfect but be a bit shy and not kind of go for it. So I actually decided to leave the little mistakes in. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought maybe that could be helpful for students to um, not feel so much pressure to have to have a perfect. For me, I think it's more important to just put yourself into it and really enjoy it. And then that's what's most important for me. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and thanks again for involving me.